It's back, baby. Hello YouTubers and random Doctor Who fans, it is your boy, Ozzy D-Man in the house, and if you get that reference in the intro, then, well, you're a premium uh, subscriber, basically. Doctor Who Confidential is back under the new name, Doctor Who Unleashed, and when I say Unleashed, I don't mean this Unleashed, or this Unleashed. Yeah, I think the name is awesome, I think it's, it's great, I mean, it's very nostalgic, it's very, like, 2008, isn't it? Everything was Unleashed back then, I mean... And Unleashed is making a comeback. If only we got an Unleashed-style Stonic game again, but I, I, I doubt that will happen. But yeah, it's fantastic news that Doctor Who Confidential is back because there was just something so magical and mystical and warm and fuzzy about after you've watched a very scary episode of Doctor Who, because remember, Doctor Who used to be scary back in the day. Uh, after a scary episode of Doctor Who, you could go, oh, right, it's finished, and then you'd hear the voice, and now on BBC Three we have Doctor Who Confidential. Ooh, what is this behind-the-scenes magicness? So... The magic is coming back, guys, which is great. I, I was kind of a bit pessimistic about this new era because I just didn't want a carbon copy of what we had before, but I think they're taking what worked in terms of its elements, and I think the very core of Doctor Who Confidential is a, a key element to the success of the Rusty Davis era because it just felt like such a high-end production for a behind-the-scenes thing. It was it was mad. It's it's great to have it back. I think it's it's a new kind of format they're going to do. I think they're having a, a presenter actually there, which obviously before it was Russell Tovey or Russell Tovey or Anthony Head doing a narration. I don't know. I think I'm, I'm I'm more of a fan of that. I'm not too bothered about having a presenter because every time they've done it, like with a fan show and stuff like that, I've never cared about the people who have been in it, I've just cared about the behind the scenes stuff. So that's a little bit of a disappointment for me, but you know, whatever, roll with the times, I guess it's just one of those things which is just bound to happen. But yeah, for me, Doctor Who, behind the scenes, prop design, CGI, uh, acting rehearsals, and all that kind of stuff you see in documentaries and behind the scenes, it's what got me into filmmaking in the first place. So it's, it's, um, it's absolutely fantastic that we got it back. It's there's no words to describe how cool this is because it was just a massive part of getting me into Doctor Who and into media in general. So, the lifting the veil again, which, uh, I mean, I can't imagine the behind the scenes for the Chibnall stuff would have been really that exciting. Chris Chibnall just sat in his office going, What should we do today? Mmm. What's popular? What are the kids like? Ed Sheeran? I reckon that's what the board meetings for the uh, Chris Chibnall era would have been. But we know that it's more exciting with Rusty Davis at the helm. I mean, personally, I would have preferred Fresh Blood. I know that, probably an unpopular opinion, but I, I would have preferred a completely new direction for the show. But I think going back to basics and what worked isn't a bad idea. And, I mean, I'll do a separate video on merchandise, but hopefully this will bring back merchandise for the, uh, the merchandise-based channel. And really just build up the public interest in Doctor Who again, because Nobody cares about Doctor Who anymore, uh, but it's just a shame that as soon as someone who's black gets cast, like 50% of the general population think that it's virtue signaling and them just trying to push an agenda and it's like, well, black people exist, you know, they're not these weird creatures from outer space. They exist and they're going to get cast in TV shows because, well, they're just people. Either way, let me know down below what have your memories of Doctor Who Confidential been and are you looking forward to it coming back? Did it get you into, like, Filmmaking, visual effects, storytelling, all that kind of stuff. Just let me know, I'd be interested to know. And it's been me, Ozzy, with an actually positive video on Doctor Who, which feels weird, right? Because Doctor Who has just been bland and mediocre for the past six years, and I've kind of fallen into a void of nothing. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Oh!